All-out battle. Modified Ukrainian troops drone blows up Russian tank by dropping a grenade on it. Video footage shared on Telegram and Twitter recently showed how Ukrainian soldiers have begun dropping as many as 10 grenades at once from rotary blade UAVs, and a new clip shared online this week reveals how it works. Video footage shared on social media last week showed Ukrainian troops using a drone to drop more than 10 grenades at once. It's not the first time footage like this has emerged, with several video clips recording from the drones dropping the munitions, showing how grenades and other explosives are dropped from commercial and military-grade UAVs on Russian positions. While Ukraine is certainly not short of high-tech weapons, which are constantly arriving in the country from the United States and other NATO allies, troops have repeatedly turned to these improvised weapons to provide a quick and easy way to strike Russian positions with a fair amount of precision. The footage shared on Twitter and Telegram last Friday showed how useful commercial drones can be. The video, recorded by the drone, shows a large number of grenades falling from the sky and striking a Russian position below. Several video clips have also emerged on social media showing how the Ukrainian troops can drop such a large number of explosives from drones remotely and at once. One clip, shared this week by Ukraine Weapons Tracker, shows how the Ukrainian military adapted a large rotary blade UAV to carry a large quantity of RKG-3 pattern grenades. The short video shows the quadcopter resting on bricks, raising it enough to hold the attached grenades beneath it. The drone then takes off from the makeshift launch pad and can be seen rising into the air. Another video clip shared online in late July shows a DJI Matt Rice 300, a commercial drone typically used for recording video, modified to include a munition rack that holds eight modified VOG-17 grenades. The short video clip shows how the grenades are mounted in a circular pattern in makeshift holders around the bottom of the grenade. A soldier holds the modified unit, revealing how switches release the grenades one by one. Video then shows the drone taking off from a dirt road, rising into the air and presumably heading to seek a Russian target. It is unclear exactly how Ukrainian troops created these improvised switches and mounts for the grenades, although the white plastic could possibly indicate that they are manufactured using a 3D printer. Meanwhile, video footage shared on Telegram, Twitter, and Reddit this week shows a Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicle dropping explosives on a Russian electronic control station designed to help troops detect and counter drones. The video, recorded by a rotary blade drone adapted to drop grenades and other munitions, shows explosives being dropped on the radio monitoring station. Ukraine Weapons Tracker, a popular English-language war analysis account on Twitter, reposted the video and revealed that the target was a modern Russian RLKMCA, ROSC-1, complex that was specially developed to counter enemy drones. Here we see munitions being dropped right on its electronic control and radio monitoring subsystems. The RLKMCA appeared to be completely helpless, the post reads. It's not the first time that video footage like this has been shared by the Ukrainian military, and it likely won't be the last. The RLKMC Valdai radar complex was developed by the Leonizovo Electromechanical Plant. Work started on the project in 2016 and Russian media reports suggest it was rolled out for military use in the summer of 2021. 
The aim of the project was to give troops a portable radar complex that can detect and track UAV targets and to easily allow troops to detect small UAVs and distinguish them from birds and other flying objects. An export modification of the system, ROSC-1, was also manufactured. The radar complex uses a self-propelled vehicle on a three-axle chassis. It is divided into a control module, an optoelectronic module, a radar module, a direction-finding module that is used to find radio signal sources, and a countermeasures module. The complex features its own communication systems and power supply. The fact that Ukrainian troops took out the drone-finding complex using a modified drone, and potentially even a modified commercial-grade drone, is particularly embarrassing for the Russian military. This summer, Ukraine launched an Army of Drones program using drones donated by foreign allies, charitable organizations, and individuals online. The program also involved training Ukrainian troops to use military drones for surveillance and combat. It encouraged troops to use the commercial drones for surveillance purposes and to modify them to drop munitions on Russian positions. The Army of Drones will allow us to constantly monitor the 2,470-kilometer-long front line and to field an effective response to enemy attacks, using modern technology, Ukraine's Colonel Alexei Naskov told media.